Qualifying for the third round of the 2023 European Le Mans series got underway with the GTEs, but it was very quickly red flagged because of an error from Ryan Hardwick in the number 16 uh, Proton Competition Porsche, ending up in the gravel on the exit at turn 15. He would then bring quite a bit of gravel back onto the track. But once we got going again, actually the time produced by the American was mightily impressive and he would finish in third position behind this car, the Formula Racing entry for Johnny Lau in that burgundy colour from AF Corsa slash Formula Racing and the Dane train. But another victory or another qualifying performance for Martin Berry in the JMW Motorsport Ferrari. And this car that is uh, fairly old these days and looking to be retired at the end of the season, getting a great result, pole position for the four hours of Aragon in the GTEs. And the Singaporean driver mightily happy with that performance. Onward we would go into the LMP3s and great pace initially shown from Team Virage. We've had a good weekend elsewhere in the ACO Rules Racing package here at Aragon with Manuel Espirito Santo setting good speed down the hill into this awkward approach into turns 14 and 15 and then back onto the long straight. Antoine Ducan was put out in the racing spirit of Le Mans, uh, Ligier, number 31, and he would set good speeds as well, ready for his co-drivers Jean-Ludovic Foubert and Jacques Wolf to take part in this evening's night race. So over the line he would go as the second fastest car but it was all about inter-Europol competition. They've had huge success across the years in the European Le Mans series, but amazingly, this was their first ever pole position in ELMS and LMP3 level. So Wyatt Brickercheck, the third different name in quickest times that we've had so far across three races. Remember, LMP2 is split into two different categories this year. So Pro-Am have their own session for 15 minutes. It didn't start so well for Rodrigo Sales, who down the hill into the corkscrew, lost the car, but did very, very well to hold on to it. Burned through that set of Goodyear tyres, but thankfully didn't hit anything solid and continued on in car 24 finishing in the end in third position. The 99 Proton Competition car of Giorgio Roda in this bronze only session was second fastest. Proton of course stretching their wings and running in the prototype class along with three Porsches in the GTE category this year. So a tremendous effort for he joining Christian Reed's son Jonas Reed and G Jimmy Bruni in that car. But it's three out of three, a hat trick for Sally Jolic of Turkey and racing Team Turkey. They've already taken one outright victory at Barcelona at the start of the year. This is now three pole positions in a row for racing Team Turkey. Thirsty work, as you can tell, for the Istanbul man. But a wink to the camera shows he was very happy with his morning's work. And finally, LMP2 with a total of eight cars in the session after after Jim Maguire's injury, so one of the cars moves across, in fact, into the LMP2 standard category. And the early stages uh, were all about this car, Ollie Caldwell, and also Pachito Lopez in the number 47 car, setting really good speed. Wonderful to have a Toyota factory driver as part of the ELMS lineup. The Duquesne team car of Neil Jarney, again with all of his former Porsche prototype experience as well. This car eventually would finish in the top three, the number 30 going across the line to post a very impressive time. But Phil Hansen, this was marking new ground for the British driver because United Order Sports are regular as pole sitters, but never with Phil setting the time. And car 22, fastest to start from the front later tonight at six o'clock.